SVG logo file. I want to import it onto this block in Fusion 360. First thing I'm going to do is actually create a new component. Right click, new component. I'm going to store my SVG logo there. You'll see why in a minute. Insert, insert SVG. I'm going to select my file right here. Click open. Now you wouldn't know it, it doesn't appear, but if it, you let your mouse hover, you'll see it says select a plane or planar face. So I'm going to pick the top of the plane on our block. You don't think it's there, but if you zoom out, this SVG file happens to be huge. So I'm going to go ahead and scale it down right now to say 0.02 and much better. Still actually too big, 0.0125. Looks good. You don't get a live preview of the SVG, which, oh well. Click OK. Okay, but it's backwards. So what I'm going to do is, and you wouldn't know this, but it's actually right now all green, and green means it's fixed. For some reason, uh, when you import an SVG, it defaults to being fixed geometry. So right click it, and it's not there. Let's try that again. Select everything, right click, toggle fix, unfix. Now it should be blue, more blue. Now I happen to know that we've got two little errors in this SVG, so I'm going to right click, edit sketch, L for line, and that's going to let me just close these two joints. And see how when I close them, I get the um, sketch solids. Now you could move this over and extrude it right onto your part. I was having some problems with the SVG when you start moving it, maybe because of the number of data points. So here's my workaround. It's a little bit of a few extra steps, but it's not bad. I'm going to hit Q for press pull. I'm going to just go ahead and extrude out what I want. .01. Basically, I've now created a solid, and I think Fusion 360 can handle solid bodies a lot better than it can handle SVG files, at least right now. Drag this, right click, move, and much more, in my opinion, reliably move this thing around. The orientation is wrong, so I'm not going to use these. I'm just going to use the square here. Drag it over into my part, like so. Click OK. Now I've got it where I want it. We're going to toggle back over to the block. I'm actually going to turn this one off. Create sketch. Pick our plane. And I'm going to turn our block, uh, our SVG part back on, the body. Hit P for project. And if I change it to bodies, uh, unfortunately, I still have to click each body, but I at least know that I get them all. Click OK. Stop sketch. I can turn our SVG back off. And so now I've got the geometry I want on the part. If you were just doing a cam trace, you could use that. I'm going to extrude this into the part. So hit Q for press pull, and I'll click on my geometry again. Um, this is another area where I wish you could just pick the, everything on the sketch right at first, but um, no big deal. Awesome. There we have it, folks. It's that easy. We publish a Fusion 360 tutorial every Friday. We appreciate the comments, thumbs up, liking, and sharing the video. Take care. See you next Friday.